Hello everyone, this video I will show you how to install this shirt in Home Assistant and uh, connect with the Smart Relay controller and this time we will use the DC motor and you can see here that is the AC motor before we have made the video toy and this video I just tell you how to use the DC motor for this shirt ok, let's look at the demo ok, let's look at this hardware device uh, this is this is the shutter and the motor is inside and this is the remote the wireless remote and this is the wired remote I have used this A32 board uh, that's based on the ESP so I have used the ESP home integrated to the home assistant and also I have connected with this uh, dry contact switch the switch is for motor and I have used the relay 1 and the relay 2 so this for change directions for the motor so uh, this board uh, for the demo I have only used the two relay and actually the 32 channel relay can use for 16 motor so this is for the curtain is up and the curtain is down ok you can see here I have integrated this board uh, to home assistant by Raspberry Pi and this is a uh, home assistant you can see I can have these two buttons this is for curtain up and this is for curtain down if I press this curtain up and you can see the shot will be up ok now it's stopped the motor is auto stopped and the button is auto stopped so I can use this button is for down so you can see I can click this is down until this is uh, to the bottom the motor will auto stop because they have sensor inside of the motor to limit the position and this the, uh, switch is auto off that I have set the auto off time for the home assistant I have uh, downloaded the firmware to the ESP32 so this is controlled by the hardware in, in the CPU chip you can see I can press this down and this will go on and until to the bottom that motor will auto stop and this relay will auto stop ok this auto stopped ok let's look at the principle of the hardware you can see these two lines I have connected with my uh, relay board I can disconnect it and the DC motor will have these two lines here you can see these two lines that for this motor because it's DC so it have two lines and here you can see this is the remote uh, this is controlling this motor and you can see I can click up and I click this down what's the principle you can see here that just have two points this two point and just have this two point so you can see I can connect this to one with this motor okay you can see I have connected with two one with this controller and now you can see I press this up button you can see here this is up and this is stop and press this button that will down so this only two one we can use this multimeter we can test it when up and down what voltage will be displayed ok let's test it you can see I have connected with this two one and I press up you can see the multimeter have 12 volts when I press this down you can see that polo is changed if I press this button stop that will zero volt so we just need to control this two one and with different poly polo so that will let this motor the direction change the directions in your smart home project uh, usually we have two type of motor like this this is the AC motor that work for the 220 volt and the 110 volt and another type is the DC motor so we will look at uh, this what is different and how to run you can see usually we will have this is the AC motor the AC motor will have three lines so this is the N neutral line and this is L1 and L2 that will have the leave line 
So this is the motor, and for the AC, I uh, usually have used 220 watt. So you can use uh, relay, two relay, just give this the leave line or give this leave line, not give uh, this two leave line at the same time. So you can see here, like, like this one, uh, maybe is forward function. Uh, that is this directions, and this will be a uh, reverse. So this will be these directions. And actually, this have a coin inside of this motor. So we just use two relay, uh, give this leave line or give this leave line. So this uh, motor will be changed uh, for these directions or these directions. So this is for the AC motor. And this time, we can look at this DC motor. OK, uh, you can see here is the DC motor. The DC motor will have line. This just have two ones. Uh, that is positive and negative. Uh, usually, we will have DC 12 volt. And so we can change this polo. And you can see like this, just use a relay, have normal open and normal close. So we'll have two lines. And here, you also have a relay that will have two terminal uh, that is NC, that is normal closed, and NO, that is normal open. So also you can see here the NC and NO. So you can see when give this 12 volt and give this ground, GND ground. And this also is 12 volt and this is ground. So you can see when this button, this two relay is always at normal close, normal close. And this 12 volt will not go through this motor and this motor will not work. But if you let this two relay work at the same time, just all on, the relay will not bad, will not broke because just, just only can't work. Okay, you can see, but this motor, this AC motor, if you have give this and this, this leave line together, uh, maybe the coin will be bad or broken the motor. And also usually we'll have some protect circuit on the motor, that, that according to the motor supply, when they have designed this circuit in the motor. And for this uh, directions, you can see, if I have used this uh, switch to this uh, close, and when I change to uh, this position, so that the 12 volt will go through the motor and go back to the ground. So this will be running for this forward uh, directions. Okay, you can see if I can use this uh, connect with this normal open, and when this time and use this switch and uh, close with this normal close. So you can see this time the 12 volt uh, will go through this motor and back to the ground and for these directions. So this time the motor will be running at these directions. So this is reverse and this, this F, these are just for different directions. So we just use this relay and this relay and the for your relay board to control this motor directions. So you can choose any relay board, uh, just have the normal open and normal close, normal open, normal close, and this is calm. This is calm. So this relay can be used for changing the power of the DC motor. So this is DC motor. And uh, this is AC motor. The AC motor, you just choose the relay that will have calm and normal open is enough. This motor not need to use this normal close. I uh, just have the normal open and the normal and the calm will be work, work, work well. OK, this is how to wind with the different motor, this AC motor and the DC motor. And next, we will look at how to set up in Home Assistant config file. Okay, before we use the configure to Home Assistant, we need to test uh, the 
the tank is from the top to the bottom because we need to set the auto off for this switch by the home assistant. You can see here, let your cotton on the top of the motor. And we can press this down and press this, uh, start the timer. Okay, it should about 10 seconds. Uh, we can test again. And uh, up. Okay, this is 10 seconds. Let's look at this Home Assistant dashboard. We have created these two buttons that we have used the mobile phone and also you can use the PC. We just uh, click the ESP home and uh, configure this file. And uh, this, you can see that the A32, we can edit. And actually, we have read this config file. And the important, uh, you can see here, that is for relay one, that just create a switch. I can let the file screen become large. You can see here, that is important. So we have created the interlock, this interlock uh, with the relay two. And this is relay two, that ID is A32 relay two. And also interlock uh, with the relay one. So this is interlock uh, with each other uh, for a group. And this I have set the, when this turn on will delay uh, 12 seconds. Because we have tested the cotton, we will totally use about 10 seconds. And also you can change these seconds because uh, that will protect uh, your hardware. Actually, the motor have already auto stop. Uh, you can also change it to like uh, 22 seconds or other seconds or one minute seconds. This according to your length of your cotton. So now this time I have changed to the 12 seconds. And also you can see every relay that have auto up for 12 seconds. So this is for relay output. And you can see here, we can see the input. Uh, because have 32 channel, and many, many output. And you can see here that is input. Uh, this is input one. When input is triggered, when the arm press, it press this button of the input, just the wall switch. That switch will talk in. This talking with relay one. So the input one will trigger the relay one. And also you can set this input two that can trigger the relay two. So this talking relay two. So this will let your input and work the automation with the output. Just the relay one from this input one and the relay two are from this input two. So you can create many uh, just as uh, this way. So this is the Home Assistant ESP Home config file. That is very easy. And some details you can see here uh, that have the ESP Home. So that we can use the switch uh, when turn on action or turn off action and the talking action. And also you can see this uh, GPIO switch uh, like this is a gate. So that you can use this when it's turned on that have a delay time let it turn off. So my config just according to this web page uh, from this information and this information so you can create uh, for your home assistant uh, config file. So that will be very easy. Just so you can see, I can click this one. So you can see there are many, many board. Uh, you can see different board. I just create this uh, eight floor uh, for this button uh, for cotton. Okay, let's look at how to connect this switch to, to this A32 board and the motor one with how to connect with the motor. And you can see here the two gun switch panel. You can see here uh, that will have K com, common, and K1 and K2 because actually have two buttons. And this line you can see have connect with A32 board uh, that is K com and that is K1. And the yellow is K2. So they, that will be very easy. And this one, the max distance support one kilometer. 
so that will be, will be very long for you to enough for you to use. And you can see here we have two relay. We have used relay one and relay two, and this will also have this calm and normal close and normal open and normal close and normal open. So we will use this two one. This two one, we will connect to motor, and this all have connect with two relays come, and this is normal close. The normal close is close. is connect uh, together, and uh, here the red is connect with the twelve volt uh, from this power, and uh, here you can see uh, this one, this color, that is normal open have connected together. These two have connected together. That have connect with the ground, so you can see. So this have connect with the black the ground. Now you just need to use this two one and replace this remote and connect with this motor. So you can see here, I can just connect with this one, this two one. I can just let this together and let this together. Okay. So now you can use this ACT to board to country this shot. Uh, first, I have connected the Ethernet cable because we have integrated this board to home assistant by the Ethernet. And this is the power, 12 volt. You can see here. So you can see this is a home assistant application. You can press this down, and the curtain will be down. So that can use the mobile phone and use the 32 board and replace this remote and close it. And maybe you will ask, uh, because we have used a home assistant, if we without network or network is broken. So you can see when I remove this cable, the network cable is disconnected. Now I have only connect with the switch panel. This time I can try to use a home assistant application. You can see uh, nothing that can't work. So you can see I can use this wall switch. You can click. That will be also work well. So click again, that will be work well without this network cable. Just when your network cable is connected again, and you can see the mobile phone, uh, the icon, the color will be changed. So that now you can use this button again. So the home assistant are calling to the network. And this switch panel without network, just working locally. OK, this is how to use the A32 board and use the tool relay to country one motor. So that you can use many motors and country by this board. Thanks for watching.